Hey guys, so we're going to do a yoga nidra today and to prepare for yoga nidra you want to find a comfortable place to lay down preferably. Although yoga nidra can be done uh, sitting up maybe in a lazy boy or um, a recliner, some comfortable position where you can be still for an extended period of time. Uh, the stillness is very important so I want to emphasize that. Um, you don't want to be sitting in a position where you're going to need to adjust or move. So laying down is best for most people, and I recommend something under your knees so your knees are bent comfortably. That tends to allow your back to be more flat, which for most people is much more comfortable, and they can stay in that position for a longer period of time. You may want a little extra padding under your back and your head or you can create a roll under your neck, but you want to try and avoid having your head raised up. So many people, um, when they lay down, they immediately grab a pillow or something, put it under their head. If you can avoid that, avoid that. You'd like your head and your heart on the same plane. Um, and that's pretty much it. We like to stay still and we like to stay alert during this practice, but this is a very um, beginner-friendly, easy way to get into a meditative state and to get the benefits of dropping into altered states of consciousness. These are basically different brainwave states, so that's a great way of thinking of it. Each one changes your brain waves to be lower. And this is where deep healing, insight, intuition, even psychic uh, events can psychic phenomena can happen. So this is where a lot of good stuff happens is in this state. Okay, so again there isn't really much you need to do other than get still, get comfortable, get relaxed, and stay alert, and then I will take care of the rest. Today's Yoga Nidra is based on um, in the style of Swami Satchinanda Saraswati. Okay. Get ready for Yoga Nidra. Lie down in Shavasana and make yourself as comfortable as possible. Keep your feet apart and let them flop out to the sides. Position your arms slightly away from your body with your palms up. You may want a blanket and to adjust your clothes and position so that you are very comfortable and you can practice yoga nidra without moving or physical discomfort. Close your eyes and keep them closed. In Yoga Nidra, you will feel and hear. These are the senses that you will use. You will function on the level of awareness and also listening. When you dream, you have no control. But in Yoga Nidra, you are the creator of your own dream. Say to yourself mentally, I will not sleep. I will remain awake. I will not sleep. Feel yourself settling in. Take a deep breath in and feel calmness spreading throughout your body. As you are breathing out, feel yourself relax.
begin to become aware of sounds that are far off in the distance. See if you can tune in to the most distant sound. Allow your hearing to operate like a radar. Searching out distant sounds and following each one for maybe a few seconds. Move from one sound to the next. without trying to identify the source of the sound. Gradually, bring your attention to sounds that are closer. Sounds inside the building that you're in. and then the room that you're in. Now begin to visualize without opening your eyes. See the four walls of the room that you're in. The ceiling, the floor. and your body actually laying on the floor. Be very aware of your physical body laying on the floor. Perfectly still and relaxed. Now begin to develop an awareness of all the physical meeting points between your body and the floor. Be aware of your natural breath. Feel the breath come and go spontaneously. No trying, just relaxation. Don't try to concentrate, just let go. Continue to listen to me and simply know you are breathing. Say to yourself mentally, I am going to practice Yoga Nidra. I will not sleep. Now is the time to say your resolve or sun kalpa. The sankalpa should stay the same until it manifests. 
or until something more important takes its place. To be effective, it must be stated in the first person, present tense, and use only affirmative language. Please state your resolve clearly with feeling and awareness three times now. Now we will rotate consciousness through different parts of the body. Allow awareness to jump effortlessly from one point to another. Mentally repeat the name of each part of the body after I name it. And at the same time, become aware of that part of your body. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth, fifth, palm of the hand. back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, Armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, Heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, the big toe, second toe, third. fourth, and the little toe. Now the left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth, fifth, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, Elbow, upper arm, shoulder, 
armpit, waist, hip, the left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the sole of your foot, the top of your foot, the big toe, second toe, third, fourth, and the little toe. Now the right shoulder, left shoulder, the right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, spine, the entire back, together, the top of your head, the forehead, the right eyebrow, left eyebrow. the eyebrow center, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye. right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, the nose, the tip of your nose, the right nostril, the left nostril, the upper lip, lower lip, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, the right side of your chest, the left side of your chest, the middle of your chest, the navel, the abdomen, now the whole right leg,
the whole left leg. Both legs together. Your whole right arm. Your whole left arm. Both arms together. Your whole back. The entire front. The whole of your head. Together with your legs, arms, back, front, and head. The whole body together. the whole body together. Now bring awareness to the space in front of your closed eyes. In yoga, this space is called the Chittakasha. Imagine a screen in front of you in which you can see infinite space. Focus your attention on this dark space. and become aware of any images, colors, lights, anything that manifests within it. If something should manifest, remain aloof, uninvolved, detached. You are strictly observing without judgment, without opinion. Not associating with the future or the past good or bad, simply observing, not trying to change or alter what you observe. Now imagine yourself walking along a deserted road on a hot day. Beside this road is a high stone wall. As you walk along this wall, you find a small door.
you open this door and go through it to discover a garden inside. Inside of this beautiful garden, you hear birds singing. You can smell flowers. And you can see cool, shady trees everywhere. You take some time to explore the garden and eventually you arrive at a deep well with butterflies dancing around it. You look into the well. It is very very deep. A round cylinder boring down into utter darkness. In this darkness, you make out a spiral stairway that twists around and hugs the walls of the well descending into complete and utter darkness. You decide to descend the stairs. As you do, you find polished stones. yellow, white marbles, emerald green serpentines. When you look up, you see the circle of light at the top of the well. In holes that are in the wall, you can hear the sounds of small animals that live within it. Rustling sounds and squeaks. As you continue to descend, you find yourself eventually completely surrounded by darkness. You must now feel your way along the walls. At one point, you find large green eyes staring back at you. You see them blink shut for a moment, and then you hear the beating of large wings and the hoot of an owl. As you continue to descend, you pass through a cloud of luminous insects, completely transparent. You are surrounded by their light, but none of them touch you. At this point, the walls are damp and quite mossy but you begin to make out a dim light below. Eventually you reach the bottom and you find a tunnel there, a tunnel with a light at the end of it.
you make your way through the tunnel and you arrive on a beautiful golden beach. A golden beach with a beautiful ocean in front of it. An infinite ocean of peace and bliss. On this ocean, there are large white lotus flowers, rocking gently by the waves of this ocean. On one flower, there is a baby laying there. And somehow, intuitively, you sense this baby is you. You feel yourself as that baby. You are rocking gently on the waters of the infinite ocean. Hear the sounds of the waves. Feel the gently rocking lotus flower. And in the background, the sound OM. OM. Now return your awareness to the Chittakasha, the dark space in front of your closed eyes. Watch the darkness before you very carefully. Stay detached and do not become involved with anything that appears in this space. Rest in this warm and friendly darkness. If thoughts occur, let them come and let them go but continue to watch this dark space. Continue with detached awareness. Now remember your resolve or sankalpa. Use the same sankalpa as you did at the beginning of the practice. Repeat your resolve silently to yourself three times, clearly with feeling and awareness. Now become aware of your breathing. Be aware of your natural breath.
Be aware of your breath and a deep sense of relaxation. Begin to become aware of your body. Your arms and legs. Your body stretched out on the floor. Be aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Without opening your eyes, develop awareness of the room you are in. Walls, ceiling, any sounds in that room, any noises outside the room. Bring your mind and focus it outwardly. Now begin to move your body. Please take your time and do not hurry. When you are sure you are awake, gradually sit up and open your eyes. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. As always, uh, right now, these are donation-based offerings. Um, and so if you did this practice and you got something from it and you would like to support me in creating more of uh, this kind of content and support the community of yoga practitioners who um, look to me as a teacher and benefit from these practices, um, please consider making a donation. Um, that can be made directly, or you can sign up on my Patreon page um, and make that a monthly amount that you contribute. And this allows me to offer these um, offerings right now as a donation offering. So people who don't have money, uh, who are unemployed or concerned about their finances, they can still take advantage of these practices um, without worrying about paying for them right now. And your donation allows them, allows me to continue to do that uh, and offer this as a donation or offering. All right, everyone, I hope you're doing well. I want to thank you for taking the time to practice. My own feeling is with everything that's going on right now, with the social unrest, with the coronavirus, with the health issues that we're going through, the environmental issues that we're going through right now, the most important thing you can do right now is your practice and to practice regularly because your practice allows you to be the best you that you can be. And that's what the world needs right now. It needs you at your best. Not Buddha, not Jesus, not some other saint. It needs you at your best because those people are not here. You are. Namaste.